This stinks. Why does everything have to go wrong? I once again failed. I failed twice. How the fuck do I fail for the second time? It's all the wanted employees' fault. I did all this murdering stuff for an important reason. I just wanted to fix my world after Lucifer destroyed it and killed Joe. I did not want to be a bad guy. Honestly. If I had a chance, I would leave the evil and join the good. But there's no way. I'm an outcast so everyone including Stan's family and his friends knows. I don't think they want to even see me. Hopefully Jnler will understand and he can help me. Oh, you think a friend would do this type of uncalled for child abuse and crap? Jnler. Come on now. You have to be with me on this. You still care about what I went through. Don't. No. Shut up. I don't want to hear all these most horrible acts you've caused. Just why did I make the choice to still care about you? Yeah, that gave me another reason to betray you. That was so horrible of you to assault my friend Stan. For what? The fact he beat you after you tried to corrupt our world? Lion, I have told you this in the past. Destroying someone else's world doesn't fix ours. I am just out of words on why. Why? You really pissed me off I can't even talk or say anything else about everything. Also, those words you said about Stan's grandfather was extremely heartless. How could you say that about someone? You don't mock the dead like that. It's very serious. When I watched the video, want to know how scared I was seeing Stan nearly come to his death. As much as there's still more evil out there, you're now one of my nightmares now. Lion, this time, I mean it, we're done forever done. I don't want to be associated with you anymore, and I don't ever want to see you ever in my life. Claire please. Buddy, this stuff won't happen again. I promise, I'm super sorry for what I did to Stan. Claire. Is this really it? So now you've decided to really hate me? Absolutely. Maybe when you weren't around, I still did care for you, but not anymore after all this. I'm not going to have a friend that commits child abuse. He's right on that. Not only you made us feel all stupid, but you were like Stan Lee, but way worse. I'm literally pissed off watching what happened on that show. So, what do you have to say to yourself? You are going to have the balls to say death threats about my father? My, fucking, dad? Everything you said about my father shows you have no heart towards anybody, not even to other troublemakers. Even if it's a bad person. Why the hell would you say something like I wish you'd die, I honestly wish you were never around this earth, or stuff like that? My son had less tears blowing out because he thought he was going to lose his grandfather if Lucifer's invention did not work. It somehow did, and he didn't die thank God you know what? My son was just being a hero, because you painfully put everyone in danger, you forced your friend to merge with you so that you can attempt to fix your own world, corrupting other people and worst, commit child abuse. Well, you finally got the punishment you deserved, because all of us are done with your ass. You, including Dan Hamming. With you gone thank God, you won't hurt no one no more. But you have to realize, it was Lucifer that made me evil. I didn't want to be that evil dog I am today, but I was forced to. He was mainly the cause of all this. You still remember that, right? Blair, I know that I would never hurt you, and would always figure out a way to change. Can you just get over it already? Get over it? Are you fucking serious? You want me to get over you almost killing Stan, merging with me to become a monster, and then disrespecting his grandfather? That's a big huge no. And I mean it. Lion, I am never becoming friends with you again. You could have decided to get help, but instead you wanted to be more evil than that. It's over. We're done here. As I found out about everything, I took down that picture of you, me and Joe. I can't be friends with that kind of people. It isn't safe doing that. Again, you could have changed, but you did not. We were sort of friends, but now we're completely not anymore. So good riddance. Guys. I'm sorry for everything I did. I didn't want to do any of those evil things. The wanted employees weren't any better, yet they still got support. Can't crazy people like me be forgiven for once? No. I am afraid not. Villains that put a lot of people in danger, commit child abuse, hurts victims and doesn't care about anybody but themselves, just get defeated or locked up. You're like the Reapers and Cyberdarth Squad. 
Those type of criminals and troublemakers do not get trusted at any costs. That includes crazy bad criminals, heartless mobs, and crazy child abusers. And you're going to eventually join them, in hell. We've have it. I don't want to speak to near your face, again. Screw you for everything you did this Stan. You also remind me of this dog who was once my friend, was past now. She ruined my life and I never want to speak to that name again. We're done here. Go be friends with that Dan Hammond guy for all I care. This is goodbye, forever. No, no. Hey, don't feel too down. He really wasn't your friend in the first place. Everything is going to be just fine. Shut up. You're not helping. Everything is not going to be fine. I just lost a very good friend I laid eyes on, and now he doesn't want to feel like we're still buddies anymore. Lucifer, fuck you. You did all this just to let me here. I don't even want to be a bad guy anymore. I want Claire back. Um, everything fine? We saw a lion running crying his tears out on the walls. He's not feeling too good. Some of the people who watched Steve Wilkos came by and confronted Lion, and the little green dude decided to distance him forever. Do you think maybe he just wants friends? I heard the story on why he became evil. There was a big reason to it. Look, I can't do anything to get him free because no one wants him in town. They are going to easily know where he is. The wanted employees still have something coming. Well, this making isn't going as planned. I finished five new sprites but the others are so difficult to try and program. I needed the leader's help. But he's in prison. Perhaps I can study and figure out what I did wrong and mend the problem there. Guys, these wanted employees continue to make us lose members to our group. And honestly things are not the same without the leader. We need a major plan. I think we need to sneakily find this classic Lori Loud person, then put her hostage, then we'll murder the shit out of her, and get the ticket to break our friends out of jail. I want to wait until 2024 though. But when she returns working, at some point, we're going to get our revenge. So, we have to do like, a sneak attack on her? But wouldn't the gang members know we are trying to take her hostage? There's a reason they have gang members you know. Nothing about that is the point. Because I am going to tell them the general guy is having a meet and greet outside, then all of you will take them, and I can knock her out. We will bring the justice we need for our friends, and slice every human apart. And that Stan kid. Stay in here, and get a bunch of training in. The round two is not that far away from here. So you see, after that battle with the Overload and my former Ailes betraying me, I was homeless, in a tent, for months. That gave me the decision to stay here with you guys. I see. We don't like you much, but since you are also one of those other troublemakers that got used for a little taking over world thing, and you don't want to cause evil, I guess you can stay here. We're only doing this since you have nowhere else to go. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I know it did seem hard, but that's generous. So, where's my new room? Am I free to come inside now? You may now. My resting time is over. I'm glad that Lindog got what every criminal deserved. He's so gone way too far. I'm glad Lucifer did not kill me. He was a huge pain in the ass for so long. Jimler just had to do it. There was no way Len was gonna get truths anymore after all that. He shouldn't have assaulted my son to begin with. Dad, you don't need to worry. He's all gone. And he will never bother you for a while. I won't let anyone say anything bad about you. Thank you, son. This means a lot. Everything should be fine for now now that Lucifer and Len ain't around, nor the Dan Hamming person. Right.